What's going on guys? Today we're talking about yoga for plus size beginners. Can you do yoga when you are plus size or overweight? Is it a good idea to start out yoga if you are completely new? And what can you do to improve your yoga practice? What tips can I share with you today to make sure that you reap all the benefits of yoga regardless of your age, your body shape and your body size. Well, let's find out. Before we head on to the video, I'd like to share with you my new book, Yoga for a Faster Metabolism. It is available for free right now. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below. So check it out, guys. You will find plenty of tips for beginners the best beginner poses to start out and why you should practice yoga on a regular basis to improve your health, well-being, help you trim down, reach your ideal weight naturally and stay there long term. Make sure to check it out guys, it is available for free right now. So yoga for plus size beginners. Should you start yoga? Well, in my humble opinion, you should. I've been practicing yoga for a few years now and it has literally changed my life. Yoga is a very ancient and proven practice. It has been around for thousands of years. It originates from India but has become very, very popular in the past few years in the West for good reasons. Yoga provides plenty of benefits for your health and well-being. And it's not like any other form of exercise. It is physical, but also mental and spiritual. Overall, yoga is not just a fitness routine. It is a lifestyle. It is a way of living. It is a journey that will transform you into the best version of yourself. You see, yoga makes you a better person overall. If you stick with it long term, you will see definitely positive changes in yourself you will have more energy you will be at peace you will find inner calm it's a great way to get rid of any stress and anxiety and you will have strength flexibility stamina and endurance so make sure you try out yoga if you haven't already so what can you do to make sure that you start out yoga on the right foot? Well, here are some of my best tips that I can share with you today to make sure that you get all the benefits of yoga. First, make sure you start slow. It's very important that you begin slowly, that you learn the basic at your own rhythm and that you not push yourself too far too fast. When you are trying something new, we have the tendency to want to do everything at once without good preparation. But if you do so, you may risk discomfort and injury. It will make you progress a lot slower in the long run and it will make your yoga practice not so enjoyable. You see, it's very important to take your yoga practice seriously with discipline and commitment but is as important or more important to make it fun for you. Yoga should make you feel amazing every day. You should long to step on your mat every time again. It should be an enjoyable and fun experience for you. It should make you feel amazing every step of the way. So make sure you stick to the basics first and listen to your body closely. Yoga teaches awareness, compassion and acceptance for yourself and others. It's very important that you pay attention to how you feel at all times. You should consider how your body feels and act accordingly. To avoid discomfort injury, any stress or strain while practicing yoga. You should only do what feels right for you. So make sure you pick poses that you can do 
or modify them, there are plenty of different modifications of every postures that you can practice if you feel more comfortable with them you can use props such as mats, blankets, yoga blocks, straps, bolsters, belts there are plenty of tools such as blankets and cushions that you can find around your house and use them as props to protect yourself, your knees, your joints while practicing. It may be very easy for you to practice advanced poses with the help of props and some modifications and get all the benefits even if you can't do the poses fully and completely yet. So what you should look out for is a good yoga teacher. If you find the right yoga teacher for you, it will make your practice even more enjoyable. It's very important to keep in mind that your yoga teacher is there to help you progress and give you instruction and advice to make your practice even more enjoyable for you and make you practice in a safe environment. So once you find the right yoga teacher for you, someone you can relate with, someone you enjoy practicing with, then your practice will be a lot more fun. Another advice I can give you today is picking the right yoga styles for you. There are many, many different types of yoga out there. Some are very gentle and slow paced, Others are very vigorous and intense, make you sweat and give you a high intensity workout. So if you're new, I recommend that you start with a slow paced yoga style. It's very, very important that you learn the basic first in a safe and easy environment. So that means looking out for yourself and being safe and learning the different beginner poses one by one until you master them. So that's why a gentle and slow paced yoga style is highly recommended if you are completely new and not jump into a fast paced and vigorous workout. That way that will make you use transitions and fast movement between poses that you don't even master yet. So what you should keep in mind also is keeping things light and fun so it's good to be committed to your yoga practice but make sure that you keep things fresh and fun for you and enjoyable at all times if it means challenging you yourself from time to time then why not just make sure not to push yourself too hard and listen to how you feel and act accordingly so what are some of the best poses that you can practice? Even if you are plus size or overweight, there are many different beginner poses that you can start right away. You don't have to be too strong or extremely flexible to practice yoga. Yoga is for everybody, regardless of your age, body shape, body size, fitness level, abilities, you can practice yoga. There are many different beginner poses that are available for everybody to practice safely at home. So some of them are child pose for example. You can also try out the triangle pose, the cat and cow pose, or the warrior poses, warrior one and two. You can also try out any poses that are seated for example meditative poses such as easy seated pose or accomplished pose these are very easy to do and will help you reflect on your practice and cool down at the end of your yoga session so check them out guys also make sure to check out my new book yoga for a faster metabolism the link will be in the description box below. You will find 
plenty of other beginner poses that you can practice right at home and start your yoga practice on the right foot. So thank you so much for watching today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you tomorrow.